Before we talk about Alien Breed or the Alien Breed series, we're going to talk about Alien Syndrome. 1987. It was a big game for me because I owned a ZX Spectrum and it was relatively older on the system by the time I'd got to it. This is Commodore 64 footage and you might be thinking, why have you picked this out? Well, this is kind of about Aliens plagiarism, the 20th Century Fox franchise I'm referring to. Some of the front covers for Alien Syndrome were crazy close to lawsuits. It also features in the Snow Bros bracket for having one of the worst UK front covers ever released on record full stop. Mega Man 1 You've Been Rivaled. This was also Couch Co-op and 2 player. All of these games were Let's have a quick look at the jump in Spectrum graphics. Back when a jump in system actually meant something. Oh, Coop's on one tonight. Okay, let's get to the main show and here we have it. A beautiful top down. Now, twin stick is a bit of a generous word because the game had a very linear firing arc. Diagonals were in there, but it was a singular firing system, i.e. you had to be facing the way you wanted to fire. So you couldn't retreat and face the aliens. You had to stop and turn around. Chaos Engine had this. It was a sign of the times. It was very early for inception of this sort of game. This is very much the gauntlet model, but it was wrapped in a beautiful HR Giga. Aliens had just come out, so the hype was everywhere. <laughs> Welcome to Intex Systems. It also featured real voice sampling. Even though she sounds like she might have an impediment, it was a huge thing for a game back then. Team 17 were kind of AAA game studio and distributors way back in the 90s. They now specialize on quite good indie games. And they didn't walk away from this series either. We'll look at some of the modern fruitions towards the end. This gun was excellent. It was even lifted from a side scroller that they produced called Project X. So some of these assets are reused, but it was well out of canon to have a massive blue laser gun. Warning. Destruction imminent. What isn't out of canon though is the way that all the aliens look. It was really recognizable from the films. Not too much hive material but definitely that sci-fi corridor setup and you even see the actual ship in the hangar at the start of Aliens appears in level one of this game. So we were just hopping up and down with the fact that we were playing an Aliens game. Even got the sphincter ducks opening there. Big fan of those in Alien Isolation if you remember. <laughs> We get to see some facehugger action here with brilliant, efficient use of pixel design. They look incredible. Scutly, scared the hell out of us. Quite difficult to shoot. Where were the lawyers? Why did they not pull this up and start getting out the legal paperwork? <laughs> Where is the couch co-op footage? Couch coop? Well, the thing is I couldn't find any decent stuff and I had to actually dive into wiki and try and remind myself that this was a two-player local co-op game. You do have the stats for player two down at the bottom and incidentally we've made the switch to the follow-up which was called The Horror Continues and a great looking game also. We didn't get to the box art and I was instantly starry-eyed at seeing that awesome canine jet black shiny box on the shelf and then we had the follow-up which was even more scary and Geiger-esque I feel with the imagery of the alien. <laughs> The sequel was blatantly better looking and a lot more busy and came with some really amazing gun variety and alien variety as well. They sort of came out of the ground. You couldn't really see what was coming round corners. It was much more panic inducing. That was a cool thing about the two player is that aliens would come from one side. You'd have to look after certain entrances. Insert sphincter joke here. There was that communication. Someone had to go and fetch keys. You had to get into secret rooms and areas. It was definitely a first for that local co-op experience. Back to the point about what Team 17 are doing now with the series the games I think there's about nine of them and there's two main eras the retro old school Commodore 64 Amiga material then on to almost current gen it goes up to PlayStation 3 there might have even been a Windows or Xbox 360 Microsoft fruition of one of these modern sequels we're going to look at some of the gameplay in a second but it's really cool to see that Team 17 are around still they might be one of the oldest developers that are still pushing out pretty good stuff on all systems. Ensign Vance, at your service. This man claims his name is Thaddeus Barnes. 
though I can't vouch for it. So this is a trailer for Alien Breed Impact. Now, if you know these videos, I kind of always round off with a bit of bitterness about how terrible the modern versions of really cool retro couch co-op games have been. Speedball 2 is a hell of an example of that. So I was like, whoa, I, I didn't have a PlayStation 3. This was released on it, and I found some gameplay on YouTube, and yeah, I maybe need to put my hand in my pocket and have a look at this one. That sounds really healthy. Not local co-op, but on Steam, online, multiplayer. I was also recommended a game called Alien Swarm on Steam as well, which I'm currently looking at. It's a cracking twin stick. That was from one of my patrons. Strong Chase, thank you bro. Can you still play Alien Breed 1, the original now, on an emulation? I couldn't really find a decent sort of purchase of it or have it running in some sort of browser, but if you're into sort of retro systems, then you're best off running it from one of them. This is what modern twin stick shooters look like now. Oh my god, they've got ray tracing. There's not an ounce of HR Giga plagiarism on site. They're damn good. I've done a few lists, a modern one as well, so the ascent is probably at the top or near the top of a couple of them. Xeno Crisis. However, if you do want some amazing plagiaristic aliens twin stick bullet hell bliss, then Xeno Crisis is on Game Pass, has been reviewed by my good self. Hop on over to links. Rescue the humans. I have, of course, been Couch Coop, and this is the eighth classic Couch Co op video. I'll put the playlist in the link. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you down.